in, in the match, but first said, I think I didn't do anything that bad. I was up for 2.30 love, and uh, I think she played a really good game at that time. Uh, she went for some good serves, and uh, I missed for break point, just close um, shot for her hand down the line. So it could be 5-2 and could be totally different the whole match. So, I mean, in this tournament, where it's eight the best players, you see every match is close, so it's deciding always like few balls. And... Uh, yeah, so that's what I think. Like, if it would be five-two, maybe in the first set, everything would be different. She would be maybe more nervous. I don't know. She always knew. Uh, she also knew that she has to win, and she always beat me. So I just believed, you know, that she can miss uh, in the close moments a little bit. But she didn't, and I think she just controlled the whole match. And then, what, what's your takeaway from your first, uh, you know, WTA finals? You played three very good matches, uh, but obviously didn't advance. But what do you take out of this week? I mean, definitely, I would take it uh, as a good step forward that I even got here and uh, I was able to win uh, my first match, which is not easy. I mean, for the players who are first time here, so I think I played some good matches, good tennis. Um, all the three matches were pretty close. Uh, where a lot close, so one from match point and uh, with Kuzi it was also very close, about a few points and I would say today as well. So uh, there is not an easy player in the group, so I'll just be ready for next year if I get here. I do anything for, uh, for it to get back. Hi Carolina, after such a great summer swing with the US Open in Cincinnati, how important did you feel it was to come here and end your season on a good note and play some really good matches? Well, this year I would say I would be really disappointed that I would not, uh, if I would not get here because last year I was also pretty close and in the end I didn't make it. So uh, at least I can see I'm still moving forward. So I got here uh, this year and with me everything takes time. So uh, next year maybe I will go out of the group. And right now I know uh, how is it uh, here to play and uh, I got used to it, to the system. So I'll be more experienced next year and uh, hopefully I'll be back. Um, as you said, you didn't make it last year for a few points. This year, first, glam, fir first Grand Slam final, then you come here. How would you, what do you think has changed uh, in your game or on your uh, tactics or whatever made it possible for you to make this extra step? And what do you think is the next step for you? I don't think I would change some specific things. It's just, some, like I said, some things takes time. So I was working on a few things uh, during the year. And, and um, it paid off uh, in the end of the season. So not always if you work on something, it's working in the next few weeks. So sometimes it takes more time. So that was my case this year. And uh, I was also defending a lot of points in the beginning of the year. So there is kind of pressure for me. It was a uh, kind of new situation. So. I just think I handled it this year pretty well. I had a goal to stay top 20 this year because I knew it's going to be difficult this year and uh, I'm going to stay top 10, so I'm satisfied with the year. And uh, I think we improved uh, in all my team. We improved a lot. All the things what we've been working on and uh, we'll be back stronger next year. Obviously, everybody else is now talking about holidays, but your season is still yeah. going. <laughs> How, um, I appreciate that this is probably dis disappointing to come out of this, but you've got to lift yourself up for Fed Cup. How easy is it for you to, to do that? Well, at least right now I can say that there uh, can be last two matches uh, in the season and in this year. So, um, yeah, I have to get ready. There's no other choice. So I just get ready and uh, there is one week between. So I'll just rest a little bit and forget about tennis for a few days and uh, then back to the work for, um, that's the last week of tennis this season. Carolina, last year in the off season, you played nonstop uh, with IPTL and all the other exhibitions and things like that. Maybe a little bit tired, caught up to you. So this off season, do you plan to, to do this kind of the same thing or are you going to have a proper training block uh, instead? I'm definitely not. I'm going to change this year because two years in a row, it cannot be like this. Um, so I just want to prepare for the next season um, better than I did last year and um, to rest a little bit more because the season was pretty long and it's still going, actually. So um, I just want to take a few days off to go on holidays and then um, have some few weeks of good practice at home. I'm not going to go anywhere and I just prepare home and then I leave to Australia. Hello, Karen. Your sister uh, improved a lot this year in her single single ranking. So uh, maybe in the, in the next year you, you 
you guys can play uh, the same tournament a lot. So will you consider play doubles with her in the future? Um, I don't think it's going to happen next year because still um, the ranking is a little bit different and hopefully in the future it can happen. But uh, right now I think we just have uh, each um, different ways and there are still f um, different schedules for us, for both of us, so it's different to, uh, so it's tough to sometimes put it together somehow. So I'm just happy that I'm gonna see her more often and that she's um, back in top 100 and she's gonna stay there for a while, I hope. And she can even improve the ranking, I'm sure about it. And uh, then in the future, we'll see about doubles. I'm interested how you deal with the loss of a match. Do you dwell on it a long time or do you just move on, try and take things from it? I mean, every player is different. I would say also every match is different. Yeah. Um, if, you if you lose a close match from match points, it's tough to take it, you know, and uh, especially if you have to continue in the tournament like here. So um, that's, I would say that's tough for everyone, but uh, with me it just takes maybe that evening and the next day I'm always fine, so it doesn't take long. Um, and normally I'm not um, that sad. I'm actually not even now that sad. <laughs> well, <laughs> no, um, no, I'm always trying to take the positive out of everything. Sometimes it's obviously tough, but um, there are worse things in life than losing a tennis match, I would say. <laughs> Carolina Christina, I guess, posted some photos from her current yeah. holiday. <laughs> I mean, what's that like to see That's your sister taunting think, right? you? Yeah. <laughs> what's it like to kind of, I mean, is she, everybody else is going to be hopping off on holidays and you got to, got to get ready for Fed Cup. What's that kind of yeah, like? Yeah, but to once see I'm on holidays, she's practicing, so <laughs> I'm going to pay it back to her. Um, no, uh, she obviously she finished the season earlier than me, so everything it's uh, different scheduling for her. So she's now on um, holidays, and then she's practicing. I think next week. So, and then I have off, and she's gonna be practicing. So it's gonna be the other way. 